Hi everyone, it's Karen Hooley and I am re-recording the beginning of this video. I originally recorded it and somehow it didn't take the first time, so I apologize for that. But I'm gonna do a quick overview of the beginning of the video and then launch into what actually did take. So I received a box from Knitting Fever, which is a yarn company I have been working with for a long time. I haven't in the last couple years done a whole lot with their yarns because of all the things going on in my life, but I just reconnected with them and they sent me a box of stuff that I did not open until I did this video. I did do, I did slice it open and saw that they had a little note to me in the, in the top, but um, there was a little bag in there and I, oh, here it is. I took everything out already and everything's been tossed and stuff, but they had a little tool bag in there and in it was a bunch of, you know, um, flyers for their likey needles and hooks and, and stuff like that. But also included was this mango wood uh, needle gauge and uh, stitch gauge ruler, which I absolutely love. And I'm kind of glad I'm re-recording this part because uh, this is something that um, I can put on my desk or I could put at the spot where I am working on projects. And if I'm looking for a particular crochet hook or needle um, and I don't know what size a particular one is, that's what this um, hook is for. This is a hook they also sent me, which is a size G or size seven, I believe. Uh, yeah, um, this is a, a crochet hook that if I'm trying to find the correct size, I can use this to so like see that it already goes through that's the wrong size how about that one that one it goes through so it's the wrong size so i can tell that when it stops and it won't go all the way through that's the size hook i have so um that is a 4.0 millimeter size six a, a g i believe so um this is their likey blush series um, they sent me one of these as well as the uh, the ruler and I love this ruler because it has both centimeters and inches which is great but what I really like is that on the inches side it does four and it kind of kicks up on either side so when I'm trying to do my gauge on a bigger piece I can actually um, figure out where to start and stop or with the measuring tape sometimes it's it's visually easier for me, at least as a crocheter, to find my stitches when I'm doing gauge. So I'm excited for this. And then I started to talk about this yarn. This is the yarn, the reason why I connected with them is I saw this yarn at my local yarn shop. It's called Baby Soft. It's their natural line. Um, it's from Lanes du Nord that, that they are um, carrying this line again. And it is a, uh, oops, wrong side. It is cotton and soybean fiber, and it's 50-50. So, and so it's all natural fibers, super soft, super lightweight. If you are living in an area that has really warm temps, but you still wanna make a crochet garment for yourself, I would recommend this, because this is really lightweight, it's really soft. Um, it'll keep you warm on a chilly evening. If you have a chilly evening, but it won't be super warm. And, and that's important. I have a lot of people in Florida who ask me for garments made in lighter weight yarns. And so this is, when I saw this yarn at my yarn shop, that's the reason I decided to ask them for some. And they sent me three balls, which is really exciting. Um, I'm trying to see if they have the color name on here. They just have the color number and that's 206. So, um, but it's this beautiful yellow. So I'm really excited to have three balls to swatch with because I already have a design in mind for this. So you Floridians and Southern America um, followers, this is a great yarn for you to do, um, to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here with the original and I will splice in the rest of my video um, to think about using for a garment for yourself. So that's the baby stuff. So that's what I asked for. Now, let me see what else they sent me. So we're gonna start with this one. This is Lanes du Nord also. This is their Poema Luxury line. Look at that color. I love gradients. I, I don't know if you guys follow along with a lot of my patterns, but I love gradients. <laughs> so this is perfect. Um, I'm not usually a brown town person, but I actually love how this turns. 
color. So let's see what this is made of. It's 100% Lana Muesling free wool. Okay, I see what you're saying. I don't know what Muesling free wool means. I'm going to have to look that one up. But this is really pretty. This is Poema. It's a, so it's 100% wool. Um, it's 150 gram ball. It has 656 yards in it. And they recommend a size E to G crochet hook. So this, I would say this is probably in the sport weight realm. Um, I, it's, a, it's a single ply, it looks like, or a very loose ply. It could be fingering. It could be fingering. Let me put my finger in there so you guys can see. Um, it could be a fingering, but I think it's more along the, the sport to DK. It's probably a thicker than a little bit thicker than a th fingering, but this is the Poema. Um, this, I could actually see a beautiful gradient shawl in. I could also see this as a beautiful scarf. I, in fact, that's the first thing that came to mind when I pulled it out, is this would be a gorgeous, gorgeous scarf. So I'll be swatching with this too. This is, and it's so soft, guys. I wish I could show you, um, the, I wish I could show you the softness. It's something you can't do on video. Oh, they sent me another one, and this one's their tweed. Oh, wow. Okay, so they sent me two of their poemas, but this is the tweed. Same um, same yarn, it's just a tweed base, and same same weight. Oh my gosh, the colors are gorgeous in this. I love tweed, and I could totally see this being in a tweed uh, top, like a shell or a, um, or a pullover. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I already have ideas for this too. Oh my goodness, I need to get start getting swatching. I got two projects I gotta get done before I can start swatching though. Okay, oh, this is cool. Oh, they sent me one of their pom-poms. I love their pom-poms. This one is in a, oh, look at that. If you have never used their pom-poms, um, I highly recommend that the, go to the Knitting Fever website and pull out one of their pom-poms um, and, and look up their pom-poms, I should say, not pull them out. but. This one is a variegated one. And what I like about them is their snaps. When you um, sew them onto your hats, you sew the snap bottom onto the hat, and then you can pop the pom-pom off so you can wash the hat if you need to. So this is beautiful. It's purples and reds and black and pink and white. It's gorgeous. So I love their pom-poms. This will probably be on a project at some point. So that is awesome. Okay, what's next? Um, oh, this is their Lanes du Nord Soft Lino Natural Line, and this is 100% linen, or no, I'm sorry, 80% linen, 20% Pima cotton. Uh, this, look at this teal, this light teal, it's beautiful. And it is, let's see, 50 grams and a, 135 meters, so probably around 140 yards-ish. Um, 144 yards maybe. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, this is soft too. The the Pima cotton is what really softens up the linen. And this is probably a fingering weight. Let me see. Yeah, they have the hook sizes on here. They bury them sometimes. There we go. Hook size is um they go like three and a half millimeters. So that's a that's an E to a four and a half, which is a, what, an H? So an E to an H. So again, this is more on the, the fingering, maybe sport. It's kind of light, let's see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a, it's not a, a true ply. It looks like it might be a cable. It is, it's a cable ply here. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that color too. Blues, teals. Those are my colors, so this is perfect for me. And then, let's look at this one. Oh my gosh, this is a bulky. This is the Firenze. Firenze, as in the Italians. You guys know I'm Italian. Um, okay, so let me see what the, here we go. It's 75% wool and 20% baby alpaca and 5% nylon, and this is a bulky. I'm gonna call this a, probably close to a super bulky, if not a re regular bulky. It's a chain ply as well. Um, actually, maybe chain ply, but it's got like a core fiber in there. 
sure if you can see it. I'm going to try to get it up close and see if you can see the core fiber in there. There's a, a core strand in there. And I'm not sure. I'd have to play with it more to see if it's actually holding this, the fibers together and they're plied around it. Oh, well, no, I see what it is. It is a chain ply. And the, the, the little strand that's in there is, is, uh, is what's a chain. And then it's holding all the other fibers. Beautiful color. Um, doesn't have the name of the color now. Bulky Firenze. I love Al Baby Alpaca. If you guys have ever really read the About Me on my website, I will tell you that there is not an alpaca I don't like as far as yarn is concerned. So um, this is a perfect choice to send me. Um, wow, I this I could totally see this as a beautiful hat with this little pom pom on it. Oh my gosh, I, I actually that just gave me an idea. So those two are going to stay together, and I think that might be what I do. Here's another purple. This is Dolly 125. It's an extra fine merino luxury line. Lane. So it looks like they sent me all the lanes du Nord that I could definitely try out. Uh, let's see. This is 100% unshrinkable wool, which is another name for superwash. Um, oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. This has got a wonderful, tight, tight ply to it. I don't know if you can see it. Tight, tight ply. Um, this ball is 50 grams, 137 yards. And I love the ply because it's really tight ply. They recommend a hook size of deep inside. Um, so a US 4 to 6. So again, E to H roughly. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that purple. It's so soft. And I love superwash merinos that are soft. I mean, anything that I can throw in a washer and dryer that is 100% wool. I am very much, I love natural fibers. If I can stay away from nylon, I'm, except for socks, I like nylon and socks, but if I can stay away from nylons and synthetic fibers in my yarns, I, the, the softer they are, the better they are to you work with. So this is really exciting. So again, this is their Dolly 125. Really excited about that too. That actually is right there in my ballpark <clears throat> of working with stuff. Okay, so here is a hank of yarn. Look at this. This is Jody Long. I love Jody yarn, Long yarns. Um, this is another line they carry is Jody, <clears throat> excuse me, Jody Long. This is Artisano and it's a very beautiful um, tweedy. Look at those colors in there. I'm <clears throat> losing my voice, guys. I'm going to grab my, my tea. There we go. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We are just getting over snow over here. It's starting to warm up, and my throat doesn't like it again. I, I'm good if it stays at one temperature for a while, and then um, if it changes, I get like this, and then after a few days, it'll come back. But... Um, Anyway, back to the yarn. Here is um, Artisano from Jody Long. It's a, a it says on the on the tag here, the front of the tag, it says a luxurious blend of Cordale wool, alpaca, and silk. Oh my gosh, there's only one thing I like more than alpaca, and that is alpaca mixed with silk. So this is amazingly soft. Hard to see the sheen on camera. I mean, you can see a little bit, but you can see the little tweeties. That's the, the raw silk in there. So I'm really excited about that. Let me see what the, the percentages are. It is 52% uh, wool, 35% alpaca, 10% silk, and 3% viscose. It's a 100 gram hank, and it has 273 yards, and they recommend a, a size G hook, which that hook that they sent me it will probably be the one that I test this one out with. Um, this is gorgeous. This would make an absolutely stunning sweater. This colorway, uh, let's see if there's a name on here for the colorway. It just gives me the color number. I haven't gone online to see what the colors are. Um, most of them all have color numbers on them, but not the actual name. So you'd have to go online. But if you're interested in this one, um, go to Knitting Fever, look up Jody Long Yarns, and it's color number 1005. But this is beautiful. It's greens and blues and pinks and yellows and a little bit of gray, it looks like, in there. Um, it's beautiful. Very muted. 
very, very muted. Oh my gosh, I can totally see this as a long sleeve, just a basic, um, maybe crew neck pullover with maybe little flared sleeves or something. I mean, just base, uh, this would be the perfect yarn to do a basic sweater in. It doesn't have to be something that's super um, lacy or textured. It could be just all double crochets, but this would be amazing. So, um, and if you need something a little heavier, um, so Floridians watching this, <laughs> probably not the yarn you want to use, but oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, well, it's a yarn you could use. It just wouldn't use it for a garment. Let's put it that way. Okay, here's another Jody Long, and this I love this. He calls it ciao. Ciao is an Italian word for hello and goodbye. I love, 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 love this color. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? This one has a color name of candy on it. It is super extra fine merino superwash wool. So this is 100% merino, I bet you. Yep. Um, it's a 50 gram ball, 115 yards, and hook size they recommend is seven. So also that hook over there would be perfect for this. So this I would say is a sport to DK. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, look at that, it is so soft too. Again, I, I mentioned before, I like Jody Long's uh, yarns. So, and the fact that he named it Chow, and Chow is, I mean, that's something my family, it's Italian. So it's beautiful, I love it. Okay, oh, he sent me, they sent me another one, um, Chow again. This one doesn't have a color name, but it has a color number 46. And it's more of a kind of a mulberry, but not a super deep mulberry. It's color's not quite true. It's a little deeper than what you're seeing on here. But again, it's this chow. Really pretty. Oh, I love this color too. Okay. Let's see what else I've got in here. Oh, third one. <laughs> so they another color. It's kind of a powder blue. This is color 42. Oh, I love this powder blue. Now this, I have a pattern that actually I need to remake. And this might be the color for it. I'm gonna have to swatch it and see if it works with my pattern. Oh my goodness. If you've ever seen the Holly Shawl, um, if you're on Ravelry, I have a pattern called the Holly, Sh I'm Holly Shawl, it's not Holly Shawl, it's Holly Shell. And, and this might be the yarn to remake it. Um, it. I did it years ago, probably like six years ago, seven years ago for a magazine, The Rights Are Mine. So I might, and I've been wanting to remake it in a different color and rename it because Holly Shell was, or Holly Shell was not my name. I can't even remember what my name was for it, but this is amazing. So I love it. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Okay, so they sent me three chows. These are the color. Those are the three colors they sent me. Aren't those beautiful? Wow, okay, I'm so excited. Um, Knitting Fever is also a company that I've worked with on and off over the years, and they've always been amazing. I, If you go to my um, website, karenhooley.com, and check out my patterns, you'll find yarns from Juniper Moon Farms, you'll find Noro, you'll find, uh, I think I have some Jody, Jody Long ones out there that are available to see. Um, there's a couple others that I've used. Um, I cannot think, uh, Ella Ray is one of them. Uh, I have a couple Ella Rays. I have a, uh, the, uh, oh goodness. Um, is it Spring Yet Shawl? I cannot think of the brand name, but that is by a, uh, it's just escaping me right now, but it's also a Knitting Fever yarn. So check that out. Okay, there's two more in here. This is Jody Long also. This is Alba. It's merino and alpaca luxury tweed blend. Oh my gosh. They sent me so many tweed. Oh, that's my color. Look at that, guys. I love that color. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's do all of the stats here. Okay, so it is 50% wool, 25% alpaca, 25% viscose. So soft. I love the tweed. Um, it is a 100 gram ball. 382 yards and they recommend a size 6G crochet hook. So that's a 4.0 uh, millimeter. It's about a sport. I would say about a sport, maybe a light worsted. I, I would say more sport um, to DK-ish. Not, that's pretty, but look at that. 
Look at the tweed in there. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So this is another one that I could totally see an, a really cool pullover or cardigan. This would be an absolute amazing cardigan, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness, I love this colorway. Let's see what the name is if they have it on here. This is Ocean, which those of you who've been following me for a long time know that I am obsessed with the ocean. The ocean, I wish I lived by the ocean still. I live by the river now rather than the ocean, but I love the wild, wild ocean of the west coast of uh, the United States where I grew up. So this is perfect because it's ocean. I love it. Okay, one more. One more to show you. This is Alba Aaron. Okay, so this is an Aaron weight, but it's Alba again. And it is a Merino Alpaca luxury tweed blend. So you can see again the tweediness in there. There's some reds in there and some blacks. Beautiful color. So it's granite. So it's a deep dark gray with a little bit of brown undertone, I think, under on it. And then it's got some reds and some oranges and some yellows in there. Um, a, a black, I see in the tweeds. It's the same, I believe it's the same. It's, uh, oh, this one's actually different. This one is gonna be using a size J. So it's a little heavier than worsted. Size J hook, 100 gram ball, and it's got 175 yards. So this is thicker than the regular Alba. The regular Alba is going to be a fingering slash sport, I would say. And the Alba Aaron is a slightly heavier than worsted. So here, I'm going to put my finger in there so you can see kind of the difference. I'll put this one up too so that you guys can see the difference in thickness. Oh my goodness, I love these colors. Look at those. Okay, you can see that the blue is, is a little bit, or the teal, the ocean, is a little bit thinner than the granite. It's hard for me to see around the balls of yarn here. Okay, there we go. You can see that the, this one is much thicker than this one, the, the, the ocean. Oh, but I love the tweed. I, you know, I have had a fascination with tweeds, so it's interesting that lately they've been sending, <laughs> they sent me these tweed, a lot of tweeds. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yarns. Um, I'm going to be swatching soon. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites right now, and this one too. Um, and then, I, of course, I've got the Baby Soft that I really wanted to, to test with. So this one for sure is going to be swatched probably when I finish my next two projects. This is definitely going to be swatched. I just absolutely love this one. And this one also is definitely going to be swatched for ideas that are already in my brain for stuff. But the other ones will be swatched too. I am I'm so excited. This one, oh my gosh. I cannot even imagine what that, I need to, to swatch this and see if it's going to work for that shell. Anyway. So thank you so much, Knitting Fever, for sending me all these yarns to play with. I'm so excited. I love getting new yarns to play with. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Um, if you want to check out Knitting Fever, make sure you look at the show notes. It's knittingfever.com. And they carry all these brands. Jody Long, um, Lane Stenord, uh, Lane Stenord. It was, oh, I guess that's what they sent me. It was Lane Stenord and Jody Long. These are all beautiful yarns. They have other brands. Uh, Finley, um, Finley from Juniper Moon Farms is another yarn that I use. They have all. They, have, they even have their own line um, that it's not one that they bring in as a distributor. So, but Noro, uh, I'm trying to think. El Ray. They have so many different brands. So check them out. And again, thank you, Knitting Fever. I am going to be working on these, and I'll be in touch with you guys soon. <laughs> And everybody else, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, y'all.